Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Wednesday, February 21, 21st, 2024. I'm Aspen. And I'm Alejandro. And we're your news anchors today. We will now observe a moment of silence. Everyone, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Now it's time for our Stars of the Week. I'm so excited to find out what these students did to become our stars of the week. So let's get into it. First up, we have Jackson from Miss Lambert's class. Jackson's star action was he cleaned up a classmate's PE equipment without being asked. And he's also done an excellent job of following the rules nominated by Coach Beaner. Next up, we have Emma from Ms. Morris's class. Her star action was she helped a friend look through the breakfast trash to find her retainer, nominated by Ms. Morris. Next, we have Oliver from Ms. White's class. His star action was he volunteers to organize the classroom library, and he was nominated by Ms. White. Next, we have Joseph from Ms. DeBose's class. His star action was he was a real leader during square dancing and gave a great effort, and he was nominated by Coach Beaner. And finally, we have Risa from Ms. Godwin's class. Her star action was she read with a friend in buddy reading and did a great job, and she helped a new friend find the library, and she was nominated by Ms. Hutchins. All right, I am so proud of all of our star students this week. And remember, if you want to be a star student next week, you have to stay safe, take charge of your learning, act responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Bye. Teachers, please enter your attendance now to ensure it is in before 9 o'clock. Today's lunch is pizza, breadsticks, or yogurt, and cheese plate. Side items include garden salad and seasoned corn. Fruit is also available. Now let's go to Mr. Schubert for a few announcements. Good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, Miss Keene is still out, and Miss Keltner is at a meeting this morning, so it's just me this morning, and we do not have any birthdays today. There's no birthdays, but we do have some celebrations. So congratulations to Carson Garza and Miss White's class, who completed all of Lexia. A huge accomplishment there. And in Miss Farrow's class, congratulations to Tyrone Taylor, who mastered 
edition in three seconds. Nicholas Acosta, who mastered edition. Uh, oh, sorry. That was uh, multiplication for Tyrone, actually, in three seconds. To Nicholas Acosta, who mastered edition in six seconds. And to Mason Ledbetter, who also mastered edition in six seconds. Great job to those students in Ms. Farrow's class. All right, we have some activities today and this week. Uh, the second grade musical rehearsals start today in the cafeteria or on the stage at 10 o'clock. Um, so make sure you you remember that. And then the All Pro Dad forms are due this Friday. So there's no cost for All Pro Dad this year because we have some wonderful sponsors. But the RSVP form is due this Friday for next week's all Pro Dad. So if you are interested in that, make sure you get that form in. Okay, I have a special guest with me this morning, Ella Okerlund from Miss Kolke's class. And Ella is here because she has completed the SSYRA challenge. Um, Ella, why did you, what made you interested in completing the SSYRA challenge? I didn't know what the field trip was, but I did it anyway because I wanted to read the books. And because I, I knew they were SSYRA, and because they're SSYRA, they're good books. So you knew they were award-winning, and, and that those awards mean something, because that means um, some prof some other media specialists from around the state have hand-picked those books as, as some of the best books in the state. So, yeah. And did, were you excited to go on the field trip, even though you didn't know what it was yet? Yes. Yes. And now you know what the field trip is you're still excited for it yes yes so very exciting uh, so you have earned that field trip so congratulations on that what was your favorite book of the books that you read um my favorite book was spectacle key spectacle key can you tell us without giving away the ending can you tell us a little summary of that book well, Frank moves everywhere. Frank is the main character. One time, they move to Florida, right next to, the, to a haunted house. Frank goes and makes discoveries in the house. He finds a girl and a ghost, and nobody can see but Frank. Oh, so that sounds really interesting. A little ghost story there. Okay, cool. Um, what, uh, how did you make time to read all these books. This was a big undertaking, especially in third grade, to read this many books throughout the year. How'd you find the time for that? I read every day, um, and I read a few chapters of each book every day. Oh, uh, so you kind of broke it up over every day instead of saying, oh, I'm just going to have to read three books in a weekend. You just <laughs> read a little bit every day, and, and here we are. It's not. It's just a little over halfway through the year, and you've finished all of the whole challenge. Well, congratulations, Ella, that's a huge accomplishment. Okay, the last thing I wanted to address this morning is some TFA news. So we have um, a lot of different prizes we need to get scheduled. And we are going to schedule as many of those as possible on Friday, March 8th. So it's going to be one big day of celebrations. Um, so we will on Friday, March 8th, we will have our school-wide popcorn and movie day. We will have our kindergarten dance glow party. So kindergarten won that dance glow party. They were the top grade level. We will have the Dave's Pizza Garage party for Miss Childers class. That was our top class. And that day, that happens to be field day as well. So that is going to be a very fun day. Okay, March 8th. The only thing we could not schedule that day is the Mama P's ice cream parties because Mama P was already booked. So I'm working with uh, Mama P to find a better, a different day that will work for us and for her for those ice cream parties. These are the classes that met their goal and earned a Mama P's ice cream party. In kindergarten, we have Miss James' class, Miss Owens' class, Miss Slayball's class, and Miss Stahl's class. In first grade, we have Miss Berger's class, Miss Childers' class, Miss Saud's class, and Miss Watson's class. In second grade, we have Miss Farrow's class and Miss Stoltz's class. In third grade, every class met their goal and earned that Mama P's ice cream party. Miss Davis, Miss Hartsfield, Miss Hurst, Miss Jones, and Miss Kolke. And in fourth grade, we have Miss Coker's class, Miss Howard's class, Miss Morris's class, and Miss Rockenstein's class. And finally, in fifth grade, we have Miss Godwin's class, Miss White's class, 
and Miss Whitney's class that met their goal and earned that Mama Peace ice cream party. So congratulations to those classes and thank you to everybody for participating and making our fundraiser such a huge success. And I think that is all that I have to announce this morning. So are we ready? Anything yes. else? All right. That's, that's it, it for, for today's, today's edition, edition of WDTS. WDTS. Yes. Your DeSoto Trail family is here to support you. So, so give your best trailblazer, trailblazer effort, effort today. today. Bye. Bye.